magician pit! Go! So how long are you going to keep this bit up exactly? We both know there's no new Fairy King's Forest. If there was, as the Fairy King, I would know. Just like me, my bits never die. But sadly, this is no bit. I gotta go back and water my son. Nothing you ever say makes sense, but that makes even less sense. Then again, human babies are very confusing. Never understood them. They're just so wriggly. Speaking of wriggly babies. Howdy, y'all. Well, if it isn't my beloved Cappy. Oh, hey, Jerry Loca. We don't have to sound so disappointed. Besides, I don't want to be here either. Only told you for 12 hours and 32 minutes. A brisk stroll at best. But so loca about that. Sounds completely sane to me. Devastating insult, Bon. But this is a solo mission, so it'd be best if you went back home. Yeah, you hanger on. Head on home. This is our solo mission. <sighs> Come on, put it in me. I mean, put me in, coach. I could be your Dorothy or your Tin Man. I'd sell for total. I'd bark on command if you asked me to, Bon. Bon, why is she... <laughs> That do anything for you? Bob, why is she following us in the first place? I don't know, so naked, and he's been saying something about making an honest woman out of him. This is kind of weird. What? Uh, I don't want to know. <laughs> What's all this fog? Don't worry, Bon. I'll get your butt. Thanks. I've always been scared of things I can't see, like ghosts and feelings. Thank goodness you don't have feelings for me, Jerry, or I'd be freaking out! Uh-oh. -uh. Yeah, thank goodness for that. This is the hardest part about coming to the Fairy King's Forest. By the way, welcome to the Fairy King's Forest, home of the fighting mongies. Daddy! Holy shit. You told the truth. For the first time in forever, you told the truth. Is what I would say if this all weren't an elaborate ruse. How are you doing this Fairy King's Forest thing? Duct tape, mirrors, wires? It's always wires. Very elaborate. Bravo. Wanna go see the crib? Yeah. I wanna see just how committed you are to this bit. Daddy! Wow, a lot of trees for a forest. Overcompensating much. I bet there's dirt on the ground too. Messy. It needs a woman's touch. What? Oh my fairy king, it's the fairy king! The fairy king? Where? Oh my gosh! He's here! And a Malik! Third one! It's me! I'm home! <laughs> Gross! You get away from us, you! <laughs> you abandoned us in our forest! You left your sister to die at the hands of a demon! It's two and a... Yeah, man. You suck. How about you leave for another 700 years? Fairy King Bun! Woo! Ah. I see you've hired actors to play my loved ones. And they all hate me. What a funny bit. We love you, Fairy King Bon! Oh my god, the king's here! Fairy King Bon! <laughs> eh, I think you're alright. We've had worse kings. Like that one. Third one. Why? Fairy King I told you guys, you're gonna call me anything, it better be maybe, cause I just met you, and this is crazy. Oh, I can't even believe I'm engaged to royalty. This relationship's gonna work out. Man, this day couldn't possibly get any worse. Hey, King! Wanna see a dead body? And here's my hot dead fiance. She really puts the ass in carcass. Don't you think so, King? Don't you think she puts the ass in carcass? The fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> it, is he gone? Okay, it's my turn to cry. <laughs> Ellen! Ellen! My biggest leg up on her is that I'm still alive. Unless that's a problem. <laughs> so nice to have a moment of privacy at last. Privacy just means I get to see a private. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Fairy King Ban! Whoa! Daddy's inside of me! Yay! We 
Ripley? None of us is a deal breaker. All right, you guys have been laying on thick since I got here. Don't you have a real Harry King to like worship? I don't want to. He's smelly. After abandoning the forest and leaving his sister to die, he is not fit to rule the throne of the fairies. The fairy throne. Damn, dude. You like a little grandpa? How come I haven't seen you around? I was born elderly two days ago in a cast iron pot. My bones were like gelatin and I was unable to fly. Yeah, I didn't care that much, my guy. Your fairy musk allowed me the power of flight. Seriously, stop. I will worship none other than you, my fairy god king. God king of the fairies. I would die for you, as I have barely lived. Elaine, can we trace these? I, I don't want to deal with this. So, you want to talk about the captain, Elizabeth? Yeah, he's been acting really weird ever since my dad said he couldn't sleep with me. I thought he started acting weird after the big evil tremor and the arrival of the Ten Commandos that would destroy the world or whatever. But that was right after your dad said the thing that he said. Exactly! Captain Osbondo could be upset about anything! I get ya. I got boy trouble too. Isn't that the guy you like basically got married to me in front of you? Yeah, that didn't help. But it's mostly about... King. Yeah, King is pretty troubling. No, Elizabeth! I finally remember all my lost memories! Including everything King's ever done for me. What did that tiny bastard do to you?! He did shoot a flower at me. But that's neither here nor there. What the fuck?! I can form a mob! I can form a mob so fast! Nah, nah, that's okay, Elizabeth. Save your mob for another day. All right! But just say the word. <laughs> <laughs> Got you! No, you fucking didn't! Shut up, you kids! I will mob you! Thanks. But what I remember is that I love King. He was there for me when I needed someone most. And he protected me for over a hundred years. He left them before I could tell him how I felt. And now that I remember everything, he's left again. I don't know what to do. Diane, I'm so sorry. No one should have to be in love with King. I don't know what I'd do if he never came back. I love King so much, it hurts. There King goes, hurting people again. He's just asking for a fucking mobbing. I'm starting to think this isn't a bit. But then again, I could never tell. Diane says I wouldn't know a good bit if it hit me in the back. Go back to where you came from! Your clothes are stupid, and you're stupid, and your hair is stupid, and you're stupid! Eat a rat! Yeah. Oh god, they're sticks and stones! They're breaking my bones! And their words are hurting me! Look at Rat! Oslo, no. Stop. Burr. Thanks, Oslo. I can always count on you, other than when you try to eat my friends. Burr! They said such mean things to me, Oslo! And that one with the sticks really knew how to throw them! Uh, what do you think I should do, Oslo? Should I retaliate? Scorched Earth? That's what I was thinking, too. Have you tried thinking about how they feel? I did! And I decided that they're all stupid and wrong. You want to give that another go? Well, the only other thing it could be is that they're upset I abandoned them in their time of need and their friends and loved ones died because of my inaction. But that makes no sense. You also left your sister in charge even though she wouldn't be able to defend against serious threats. Well, what do you know, Oslo? Only what you make me say. After all, you're the one doing my voice. Shut up. Oslo. Uh, Speaking as someone fucked in the head, you're really fucked in the head, Harley Quinn. What? Uh huh? Conscience? Is, is that you? It can't be! You're dead! I killed you! I am dead and you did kill me, but I'm not your conscience. Halbrum? How? How are you here? After everything we've been through, you think I'd leave you behind? I'm haunting your helmet now! You know the deal. Yada yada, you put it on, you see me, you take it off, you don't! Besides, it was this or hell. If a ghost cop asks, you never saw me. Ghost cop? They're called inspectors? It's a really funny pun. I really can't go into it right now, but if they catch me, I will go to hell. Is any of this real? You were voice acting for a dog earlier. Even if I said yes, you're not the picture of mental health. Speaking of, your anxiety is right. Everybody hates you, and they're out to get you. Nuh-uh. Everybody loves Lovable King, but... Hypothetically, if they did hate me, how could I get them to make me fairy king again? You could try running for it, 
But Fairy President Bond's got a lock on the popular vote. Everyone really likes his policies. Fairy President Bond? Vote? Policies? Well, now I know I'm hallucinating. Yeah, Harlequin, I hate all humans, but you know, he's really good. Didn't even have his name on the ballot and everyone just wrote it in. It also probably helps he grew the entire Fairy King's forest from scratch. We're a monarchy! There are no elections! Times are changing, Harlequin. Oh, before I forget, your sister has a message for you. And it goes a little something like this. Why? Why would she ask me to do that? Hey, King! We're gonna go to Fairy Taco Bell. You want a chalupa? That is the most abhorrent, disgusting thing anyone has ever asked of me. Ouch. I mean, we could go to Burger Harlequin instead, but that ain't much better. Fine. I obviously have no say about any of this anyway. <sighs> this guy is unbearable. See what I have to deal with, gerrymandering? Let me comfort you, bud. You know what? You bring a fair point. I'm just going to starve. And that's all the times Melian has groped me off screen! Well, that list was comprehensive. You think I should do it back? Just like grab his dick and twist it? The old dick twist! Dick twist? Someone fighting? Come on! Twist his knickers! Hurricane style! False alarm, guys! False alarm! No dick twisting today! Aww! All right, but I'm staying at the ready. Oh, hey! It's the kid I gave a rock to! What's up, rock kid? My apologies, ma'am! I don't know rocks other than the ones I mine! I am but a mild-mannered rock miner miner from Iowa. I gotta get back to the sluts while they're cooking! Hutchy mama! Oh, no! Zeal's broken! Hey, Seal, where's your sister? Oh, I think you are a farmer with how clocked your top is. Ewa, something's wrong with Zeal! War bonds! Wicka, 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 war bonds! Something is very wrong with Zeal. I'm sorry, two strangers. Morph! And small humanoid dog. But I know none of the three of you, so please, accost someone else. Oh? Huh? Okay, go there! Something is wrong with Zeal and Gila! Hmm, I for one see nothing wrong with either of them. And I just got new glasses. Well, put your old ones back on and look again! Zeal was already a freak, but now he's practically possessed! Scraw! Ladies? Scraw! I am really suave bird, apparently. Neither I nor my beautiful fiance have any recollection of any suave birds. And if you sit still enough, Perhaps you won't anymore either. My fiancé, relative, and I are looking for a venue for when we wed. And more importantly, the venue for our honeymoon. Fiancé, relative? I know this is Britannia, but geez. I'm testing stuff out, seeing what sticks. Gother, what the hell is going on? Fine, I might as well tell you, since neither of you are leaving here with your memories intact. My abilities to modify people's memories and feelings are quite extensive, and I've decided to see how far I can go with them. All of you speak so highly of your friendship and love, but these things are foreign to me. You claim they give you power, but to me they seem fragile, insignificant. I do not possess a heart like you mortals do, as I am a dog. I don't care what you are! Hmm. You put their memories back where you found them, mister. Memories are precious and you can't just take them away. Like how King took yours away. He did that for love! And who's to say I'm not doing this for love? I think he's doing it for love. Stay out of this, Gila. Elizabeth, go get the best puzzle maker in Britannia. What? Why? Because when I'm done with Gother, someone's going to need to put his pieces back together. She got him! OK, I'm out. I'm afraid I can't let you do that. You won't get past me! Someone fighting? Finally! Dick twist! Hit him with the old hurricane! I'm only gonna warn you once, Gother. Fix this or else. You think you're self-imposing, but to me, you're no bigger than a gnat. Uh. Double bow harlot! Blackout! Okay, what was that? That was a finishing move. Hmm. 
and it was supposed to finish... me? Yes. I'm gonna punch a hole in you now. Hmm. Up. Hey, everybody. It's me, your old pal Gother. I'm about to be impaled by rocks right now, so I'll make this quick. If you liked the episode, please check out our Patreon to support more episodes like this. We also have a public Discord where you can come and share your thoughts before I take them from you. Oh, and before I forget, we also have a...